same way. She tracks to the leg the same way, and everything's the same. She still, still has to do the hair grab because I do have control. But she can start kicking and working and stuff until, you know, she might break my ribs until I get out of here. So anytime they have a hand touching you, you can do this method. It doesn't matter if they're choking or hair grabbing or grabbing the collar or pressing the forearm across the throat, it still works the same way. Pin the arm, pin that same side leg, bridge straight up, go to that side that's trapped, and they'll start to fall. There's a couple of exceptions to this that we don't really have time for, and it's a little more involved, like it, it would take probably a full hour to go over. <laughs> it's a different escape method. Like, if he's high, up, higher up in my chest, or if he's uh, wide and low in his mouth. <sighs> yeah, quite heavy and I'm not thin. So if he's wide and low, yeah. This, I, one, I'm just gonna have a hard time getting this trapped, right? So even if I do get one trap, ah, and I trap this leg, he's so low and high up on my body that I can't really get much action. <clears throat> right, so when I recognize that, and again, this is just for info, we're, we're not gonna really practice this, is I need to bridge and turn my hips slightly and get my elbow here, and I start driving this through. Now I've got some control over it. And I might be like, holding her down here. The thing is, I can't do anything from here. If I want to do anything disgusting, I've got to let go of something so that I can start undoing things. I gotta let go at least one hand. So, but as long as she's like resisting me, I'm gonna keep holding her until she gives up. So she knows that, so she's gonna use it against me. So we're struggling, we're struggling. And then I can feel her physically give up and she can say it. I give up, please don't hurt me. All right, go ahead. So you practice, you gotta practice the communication. All right, all right, just don't hurt me. And so you're not going to fight back? No, no. And now I've given up some control. Now she can shoot her hips out and get her legs between us. So she's fault surrendering. She's faking and surrendering and giving up. So the hard part of this yeah, is, uh, here we go, Yep. Oh, yeah. Is we're here, I'm like, <laughs> please don't hurt me, don't hurt me. I'm sorry, just do whatever you want, just don't hurt me. And I feel like there's some control given up, and there's some space created, all right? So I use my feet and my hips. I'm gonna shoot my hips out by pushing out my feet. And then I'm gonna get that knee across. Now she can try to get on top of me. And it's hard. Especially because she's wide, I can push her over pretty easy. Go back. So, you know, I think uh, you were inside this leg. Yeah. So we're here. But what I can do, and go ahead and just sit for a stable position. I'm only doing this because she's so much lighter than me and I need her to hold my body weight. Is I can use everything against, like pushing against her to get to the point where my feet are in front of us. Or I can kick her and knock her off of me. Oh, this looks really familiar, doesn't it? Right? It's this, basically. Questions on that? So you struggle, struggle, struggle. I give up. Please don't hurt me. Just do, what, do whatever you want. Just don't hurt me. You're lying. So lie. And when they give up some control, they give you space to escape. They cannot control you and hurt you at the same time. They gotta do one or the other. So they give up that control and you shoot your hips. Use your legs, shoot your hips to turn on your side. And then put your feet between you. 